<laughs> okay, good evening. I'd like to call this meeting to order for the uh, opening meeting laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We are being audio and video recorded this evening. Uh, our first uh, order of business tonight is 117 Seacock Street. Uh, uh, it was a scheduled public hearing. We received uh, correspondence today from the applicant. Uh, the applicant respectfully requests that um, they withdraw without prejudice their uh, application before the Zoning Board of Appeals without uh, prejudice. So uh, this matter is uh, no longer before this board, and uh, I will uh, request a um, motion to close the public hearing. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing in accordance with Chapter <coughs> 40A, Section 9, Norfolk Zoning Bylaws, D2, D5B for a commercial kennel and variance relief for dimensional requirements at 117 Seacon Street. In the R3 district, reference map 23, lot 54, <coughs> lot 54. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to accept oh, okay, go ahead. to accept the withdrawal of the application for relief to the, for the to the Norfolk Zoning Committee without prejudice for 117 Seacon Street, Norfolk, Mass., in accordance with Chapter 40A, Section 9 of the Norfolk Bylaws, D2, D5B, for a commercial kennel, special permit, and for variance relief. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. I think we have to do a <coughs> vote. We have to go around. Okay. So, uh, no, that would go only if we were granting a special permit okay. or variance. Yeah, sure. I think we're, okay. yeah, we're good with just a, uh, an open vote. Okay, so we're done with that. All right. We have uh, our next public hearing is scheduled for once for 7:30, and we cannot begin until 7:30 by law, and that's uh, 14 Cottage Street. A special permit. Are those folks here tonight? Okay, right there in the front row. Okay. We can do, go through the minutes and approve the minutes. You guys want to do the minutes and get those out of the way? Sure. sure. Okay. And, uh, one question: the letter that says 123 Seacock. That's just you correspondence. You don't have the letter. Only yeah. um, Mike and. Um, Chris have that letter. Oh, about the 117. All right, I had emailed it to you, but I, not everybody has copies of the 117. That's just correspondence. Okay. Okay, this is the name of a different letter in here? Yeah, it has nothing to do with 117. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Joe, that's just a correspondence uh, requesting uh, postponement okay. <coughs> until our next meeting. Until our next meeting. That's the... Um, right, so it didn't make it to the schedule tonight. It was, it's not on the schedule. It's not on the no. schedule, okay. right. Gotcha. That's the, the folks that... Next door. Next door, gotcha. that do the uh, horse gotcha. show, yeah. that that, gotcha. that. Okay, thank you. Project. All right, minutes. Uh, let's. How many do we have tonight? Just two. Just two. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's begin <coughs> with uh, January twenty eighth and February twenty fourth. All right. Let's begin with January twenty waste any time. He did buy it. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. We were between the uh, Bisher, who did the 106 108 Main Street, bought Paul Kelly's land on the uh, tracks. You know where the. Uh, Behind it? Yeah. Right on Main Street. I mean, right here. Uh, you know where Paul Kelly, 25 uh, Rockwood? Yeah. Yeah, right uh, there. Uh, he's like going to do another project right there. Yeah. Would that be a full so? I think. 
don't know. Everybody seems to be building uh, yeah, apartment building. buildings. Yeah, because it'll be cluster housing. Yeah, so, yeah. probably will be. It's got to be back before us. Can, can, they build, can they build like an apartment building? 40B? Or just, no, no. Just, or just a rental unit. You're a rental building. <coughs> I suppose they could. You could use some nice apartments. I feel like going there once in a while. What? I mean, a lot of people probably would use them, don't you think? What? Uh, apartments? Yeah. It's right on the T, you yeah, know? It's right on the T. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, it's, <coughs> yeah. it's fitting distance. Yeah. yeah I, I would feel that uh, people would use that uh, convenience of having an apartment right there. No question. And that would finally develop the downtown. Yeah. Yeah, that would be you know, a lot of people <coughs> downtown, a lot of doors downtown would be great. I don't know if it would fall. I, it might be another 40B. Could, could be. I think it's got to be because it's going to be the, the zoning. Yeah. Does, does Chris have to make a motion to accept? Yes. Are you ready? <coughs> can anybody? Anybody can. So if you'd like to, you can. I'd like to make a motion that we accept the minutes as printed for the Town of Norfolk Zoning Board of Appeals meeting on January 28th, 2016. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, February, February 24th. Minutes. Vacation, Joe? No. Vacation? no, I've made a trip. To, I went to New York last weekend. I'm going to New York tomorrow again. <laughs> okay. yeah, just help my mom out. So, just otherwise, why? Oh, I was just wondering oh. if you could go away on vacation. Well, sometimes they try to go away the kids, but yeah. uh, it didn't work out this time. But again, we went to New York for a quick weekend. Yeah. Where's your mom? She's in Long Island. But uh, helping her out. She had moved recently. Oh, okay. She had surgery and stuff. Where, where, where is she, Joe? Long Island? Yeah, and uh, now she's in uh, Babylon, North Babylon. But, uh, you know, she, I moved it to a new. I'm thing. from Freeport. My aunt's from Massapequa. So right. Right. When I'm, well, I used to live in Massapequa. Yeah. Small world. Yeah. Yeah. And probably dated my wife and I. <laughs> 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 me? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're a very close bunch. Yeah. 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 Okay. Really mm. look. How these this is about caring. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Go done. Hey, you wanted to do it. Yeah, you, you, seem to want, you seem to want to make a name for yourself. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, continue. <laughs> trying to take my thunder. Yeah, I know. Let him try. <laughs> no. Let him try. Chris, Chris, this one's all yours. No, no, no. Go ahead. I think it's in my way. I want, to, I want to second the thing, and I can't do it anymore. All right, I'm gonna, I'll be quiet on the We need to groom this second. position for someone else. <laughs> keep my mouth shut then. <clears throat> go ahead, Joe. Huh? Well, I make a motion that yeah. we accept the, uh, the meeting minutes from February 24th. What else I should say? second? I second. Abstain. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> okay. Tough crowd. <laughs> oh, so uh, make us mark is kicking in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> One. I think there was a couple tonight. All right, Mr. Weeder, what do we have for us tonight? 730, 14 cards. Oh, 14 cards, yeah. Do we, are we supposed to preview anything first? Do we have two applications to preview? Hmm? Do we already preview the application? No. Oh, we can do that. Oh, this right. is ours. This is it. We've not seen this yet. 
We have five minutes. I don't know. I was going to say, though. Oh, all right. So nothing's no. officially being previewed tonight. No. I just saw these two packets. We're allowing the public hearing. Gotcha. We'll allow the public hearing tonight. Okay. No, I just saw these two packages sitting here. Oh, that's all for next month. That's right. You got homework. Oh, oh yes. I got that. That's what I'm saying. You should have homework. Yeah. Woohoo! So I was taking a moment to acknowledge that we have these two That's packages. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's way ahead of us. <laughs> Lots of homework. Okay, here's 14 Cottage. What a nice map. Demolition and reconstruction. Oh, we like that. Say again? Is this something new, the Massachusetts Endangered Species? Act? Yes. They have to put that in now? Yeah. They have to spot a turtle? They have to contact them and make sure. Oh. There could be a salamander in there. Those are dying salamanders. <laughs> Big ones. Big ones like that? Holy smoke. Yeah, we what is this their summer season in Ecuador or winter or what's going on down there? It's uh, basically fall. Fall, oh, okay. So it was what, 90 or 100? Uh, no, 80. Lavos? 84, 85. Was it Nice beaches. This, we didn't go on a vacation. We went on overseas adventure travel. So it's much more of an adventure than a vacation. What that means is yeah. when they wake it's up at five, the they wake up at five thirty, and you go for a two-hour hike, and then you come back, and then you have breakfast, mm -hmm. and then you go snorkeling. It, it's it's more active. Oh. <coughs> Last one I'll ever do. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Whose idea was that? Uh, Mrs. Yeah. Let's not talk about it now. All right. That was your wife's <laughs> idea. Did you go to the Lions Club meeting this week? Oh, you weren't here. You weren't back yet. No, I was back, but I was so tired. You didn't go? At the end, last minute, I didn't. My wife got home late. They had, some, they had a good speaker, but she got home late. I, don't know, they were, it, I heard they did a lot of partying. Oh, maybe that's why she told me the speaker went on forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the cool. partying. <laughs> it was a cool. Oh, that's yeah. the Lions Club. I got to learn the Lions Club. <laughs> Talk about it. His wife was at the meeting. Yeah, she, I know she was there. Yeah. Oh, I know where everybody's wife is. It was. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Testing. <laughs> Oh, so there's a lot of hiding that went on after the speaker. Mm -hmm. Oh, she didn't tell me that part of it. Mm -hmm. So why I didn't go, I didn't want to tell. Those lions. She's riding on the float in the parade, she told me, with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, but you volunteered to uh, apply the roses to the float. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Our ratings are going up this month, guys, on TV. Yeah, I know. We should get more of the FUD ads, you know? <clears throat> We're just trying to kill time because we can't stop <coughs> until 7 30. We got two more minutes to go. So that's why, uh, well, those of you watching us at home are just trying to kill time. So we apologize for the uh, silly talk. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. What is TOC? I don't know. I think it is, yeah. 
Um, total pre existing non condition in the same. Sorry, I remember not. Um, no. Oh, not the same no, see. That's what was there. Cottage was there. Garage was there. This is what he wants to do. You know what I told him about? Uh, you know, I've known it before, but I don't remember. There's no. Uh, okay. Is there a legend or anything that says? Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't put enough time into it. I don't know if I want to deliberate on it tonight, but we'll at least hear it, right? Okay. I'm not at that, I'm not at that point yet. You're an expert in stuff. Okay, it's 7.30. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, the applicant is Thomas Orlandi. You can introduce yourself. Uh, good evening. My name's uh, Peter Lavoy. I'm the project manager and project engineer for this project. Okay. We have to open the public hearing. Okay, well, boy, just an okay. In one second, I. Um, he jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to open the public hearing to Thomas Orlando for a special permit application in accordance with General Laws 40A, Section 9, as amended, and Section F4B of the Norfolk Zoning Bylaws to allow the demolition and reconstruction of an existing non conforming single family residence which does not violate those requirements to a greater extent than the original structure. The property is located at 14 Cottage Ave, Assessor's Map 4, Block 15, Lot 15, and is in the R2 Zoning District. Okay, I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this for a couple months. Now, Peter, you're up. Okay, you. uh, like I said, my name's Peter Lavoy. I work with Gary and Halnan. He was the uh, uh, engineer on the project. Uh, with me tonight is uh, Tom O'Landy. He's in the back with a red switch. I mean, the. Okay, so you're the switch, uh, owner? Yeah. Okay. Um, I do have a revised plan that I wanted to hand out. Okay. So this one that we have is. No good. No good. Okay. okay. This one shows the 36 foot setback from the road, right? Correct. Okay. And these are these are the colors. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, why did you change uh, the proposed structure to be moved from 36 to 25 feet? Just uh, because of the topography, uh, I can show you some pictures which we have. Um, the original was submitted uh, before I did any soil testing for the septic. I wanted to get on the agenda. So in the meantime, I went out and did soil testing in this area here. And when I went out there, uh, I met Tom out there and we looked at the grades. And when you see the grade change from the front of the lot to the back, You'll, you'll understand why. And we also took pictures downgrading. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to minimize any grading on the back of this lot. And that is the reason why we moved it forward. Okay. okay. I, I drove by and looked at it. So it, it, it's, it is a steep grade. Yeah, it's, it, I was, you know, it, it doesn't, I mean, of course it doesn't look steep on the plan, but mm -hmm. when you go out there, it's, it's pretty steep. Um, so I'll just, I'm just going to go through my presentation. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so. Gun too. He's supposed to let him do his presentation first. I can't ask a question. Uh, yeah, so no problem. No problem. All right, you two. Look at this tough day. I'll tell you. Doc that man <laughs> a day's pay. Don't say we all. There's only two of you that seem to be very rusty. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us are very sharp. <laughs> okay. So um. The lot is at, the lot's location is uh, 14 Cottage Ave. 14 Cottage Ave runs this way, um, but it's not developed. Basically what's there is a, a driveway for a circle and the driveway goes down to the, str the main street down here. So this is not developed from here over to Franklin Ave. And then this is not developed from here over. So there is no development on the road in front of here <coughs> except for the, this circle area. And I do have a picture of it and I can show you. Um, so we have an existing house way down here. It's only seven feet off the property line and it's down at elevation uh, 180. Then we have another structure in this area here which is a cottage. Uh, it's a small cottage there. And then we have an existing garage up at the, at the um, the pavement location and the elevation there is 198. So that, just in that short a distance. From back to front of the lot, along the back property line, we have an elevation of 174. And at the front of the property, 
uh, we have an elevation of 198. Just to give you another elevation, if you go down to uh, Popularic Street, which is below this and the, the lake, the elevation at the lake is 112. So from that location to the back of the property line, you're looking at 112 to 174. So I'll show you the pictures. I can show them now. So um, this, is, this is the back property corner looking down towards Popularic, at Popularic Street. So you can see here is the back property corner. Whoops. That basically is this marker right here. Okay, and then there's the property line and there's the existing structure. You can see there's the existing structure here and it just drops. And you're looking at the top of a roof over here. So that's, that's why. Uh, yeah, so, right so, at the bottom. So we're trying to, that's why we moved it closer to Cottage Ave to minimize because this house is not structurally sound. So we're going to demolish the house. Is this the cottage or the 1.5 story wood frame? It's the 1.5. It's way down here. So, so the exist all the structures on this lot is going they're going to be raised. Um, so and then all, another thing is another portion of this is this lot here owns this L-shaped lot as well and it has an existing garage on it. So the two lots together are roughly, you know, 29,000 square feet if you add the two. This lot here is 21,000 square feet. And this lot here is 7,200 square feet. Are those lots not contiguous? Is that, does that road actually well, own Yeah, the, the road does bisect them, but it is private. Yeah. So Crazy. <laughs> the owners of the, the lots abutting it own to the center. Oh. But we didn't, we let's, didn't, let's we didn't look at question. it that way. You know, we just looked at the property line this way. And so we're trying, we're trying to do the best we can, meeting the front yard setback. But, you know, we have an existing structure here, which is only five feet off the front property line. So we're not making it any worse by putting this structure here at 25 feet. But all other setbacks meet. We meet the side yard setback. We meet the rear yard setback um, for the rest of the zoning. Um, so the existing structure is, has an existing well with, that we're going to keep and we're going to try to use. Uh, it is on a cesspool, so that will be abandoned. This area down here will be used as a patio area, so we're, gonna not, we're not going to change the grade there. We're just going to demolish uh, or raise the system and just grade it off, fill in the foundation, and use that as a patio area. He's going to try to keep the retaining wall. He may have to replace the existing retaining wall there, but the plan is to, to keep this grade the same to minimize the grading. And then by moving the structure forward to 25, we're going to do uh, an eight-foot foundation, and that gives us a walkout in the back, and we will, like I said, minimize the grading. Also, the driveway will come along and it will be a drive on this, so that's, we're going to minimize that. So we're trying to not disturb as many, if you go out there, the trees in this, in this area, that doesn't really show it, but there are a lot of large pines that are all throughout this lot here. Um, like I said before, we did, do sep we did do soil testing here. It was witnessed by the town. So this this system is sized properly for the structure, and this is how we would, we would uh, grade out the lot. Um, so another picture we have here, this garage is the garage rate right in this location. You can see this, this is the turnaround area here. Could you angle this a little bit more for it? You mind? Yeah, just so some of us on this side can see. Okay, sorry about that. No, no worries. Did you see that? Did you? I can. You can, if you want. You can. I can take this and you can look at them. Nope. Just showing it right there. I, I can see what you're doing. Okay. Sorry about that. No worries. So, like, I, I just wanted to point. You know, this is that turnaround area there, and that, that's the existing garage that is right there. Right. That's five feet off the property line. So that fence is pretty much the property line. It's being taken from this other piece of property. This other it's, it's, yeah. it's being taken right from the driveway in. Okay. Yep. So that would be this, the stone 
Island is right there. They, they located half. They located what was on our property. You mentioned the, the Joe. Tree. We're going to hold our questions until oh, after the presentation is completely done. Thank you. What's that? I really got the word out. <laughs> I, that that's pretty much. That's I, I can okay. I can answer questions now. All right. All right, Joe. Go ahead. Oh no, Don wants to go first. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned the uh, the trees that are on the property. Correct. And uh, have you actually shown any plan of where the clear cutting or any cutting could be done here? Um, it would be it would be basically at the at the limit of grading. They would they would just come along here. Yes. That would be the limit. Yeah, so it's pretty but much there are a lot of lot of large trees along the back that we want to not disturb them. them. Yes. Oh. Sorry, I got a question. Uh, Can we ask questions? Hey, hang on. Sorry. No, 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 wait, wait. We'll, the, bo the, the, the way this works is the board will ask questions okay. of the applicant and then we'll open it up to the, uh, to the applicant. Thank you. Yeah, so no problem. We're all a little rusty tonight, or some of us are. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so basically, every existing structure, with the exception of the garage, that's on this land will be raised. Correct. Then they're, they're not structurally sound. There's a, I mean there's a lot of if you go out there, there's a lot of trash in this area near the house. The house is full of trash. Um, what, all, what, when I drove up on Cottage Avenue and just looked out of the car, did I see the I saw the garage. Did I see the but I've seen this uh, 1.5 story wood frame concrete foundation to be raised structure or the cottage. Which would have I, as I looked, I just kind of glanced over. If you would have glanced, if you would have glanced over, you probably would have saw the cottage. Okay, the cottage. Because the okay. house is, is way down at the, the far left corner of the lot. Okay. You might have saw the roof and you might have thought it wasn't a butter's roof, probably. probably. But it, okay. it's not even close. Yes, sir. The, I guess I'm a little confused. The 1.5 story wood frame structure, is that a home? That is a home. Yes. Uh, li living in now, or is um, it act is it abandoned? Is it I, what is it? Uh, I thought I don't know, Tom. It's abandoned now. How long has it been abandoned for? Eight years. How many? Eight years. Okay, and then there's a cottage. Which is when you see, I think of a cottage as a house, but that's not the house. That's a that's what is just that? An, it's just an extra structure that they must have had, you know, w way back. Then Accessory building or, a, or uh, does it have water? I don't know if it has water. Does the owner know if it has water? The cottage has is there water? a bathroom in it or? There was a bathroom in it, but. but it, oh, if it had water, it if it had a bathroom, it had water. Yeah, but the floor, I mean, it wasn't livable at Our all. House. It, it looks like a camp cottage. Yeah. yeah. That's what it looks like. Okay, someone tell me if it was a house or not a house. Did it have electricity? Did it have water? It had electricity. Had electricity. Did it have plumbing? I, I don't know. know. Anybody know? I don't know. Yeah, it, it did. It did have plumbing? At it's, one you point. You can kind of see the, the bathroom and everything in there. It's, it's, it's all rotting away. That yeah, when I looked did, in it, I couldn't see a, okay. anything really. Did the home on the left corner have plumbing? Yes, that has plumbing. Did that have electricity? That has electricity. Okay, we're yes. getting there. Okay. <laughs> Did the garage have electricity? The one to be raised? The one to be raised. Yes, there's two garages. It does have electricity. Okay. okay. And the existing garage across the street, we're leaving as it is. That is correct. Okay. That, we're not touching that. Okay. Hmm? Say again? You're not going to ask if all this net code or anything, right? No, I'm not going to ask that. <laughs> So, and the existing garage to be raised was only five feet from the lawn. Is that, that is correct. It's five feet from the property line. The fact that it's like almost two pieces of property separated by Cottage Ave. On the books, is that truly considered a property line? Or do they, they don't show the properties combined as one? I'm not sure that's, yeah, because okay. this is still a private way. Right. It's, right. It's, it's we get the owner of this property own these two segments, if you want to call it that. All right. All right. And the best of my knowledge, in a private way, when it's not, ex when the town hasn't accepted it, they own to the center. So basically, yeah. you would own. Right. But that's another. 
I'm just saying, you're almost taking a conservative approach to saying that that's the property frontage. Correct, yeah. Because conservatively, you're meeting, at least your 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 reference point makes it conservative, Dad, saying that, well, we could have maybe considered another spot to be the know. setback. I really don't know. Correct. I, yeah, I didn't know that's it's a private, private, private way. No. If it's a private well, way, that means it's, not, it's owned by a private party. Well, right. Well, the other thing, I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking is if, if, if this landowner Wants the halfway the road. Is the um, in this land the also, house? We'll call it the house. That has a full foundation. This. That is correct. That's, That's what I'm saying. In, in, in deteriorated shape. So, so, yes. So, okay. so, this is senior, senior. Now, does it have a basement or is it a slab? Don't they own the whole thing? It does have a basement. So basement, first floor, <coughs> dormer. I can assume with the 1.5 is what yeah. you're saying. Do we potentially have that? Is that right? Thing. Basement, first yeah. floor, yeah. dormer. Yeah, because it, it is pretty, it is pretty tall. Yeah, so you have a basement, first floor, second floor. And, okay. if, and if I'm correct, you're planning to remove everything, right? Correct. Yeah, fill, just fill it in, right? Correct. Yeah. And the, uh, yeah. the cottage, no basement, no just basement on piers or something. Correct. Did that have a foundation? Size and frontage. Yeah. Yeah. It's on piers. That's on piers. <clears throat> if they own this lot halfway to the center, and they own this lot halfway to the center. I don't know. It's a, it's a good question. I, you I, know. There's a couple of things. Yeah. I don't even know if they can. This, this is the house. Now they're moving. They're really not. They're not demolishing that and putting it there. They're moving it over here. What, or could you? Can you consider this? Okay. That's an outbuilding. So can you can you not consider that in terms of, of um, mitigating? Uh, you know, let's pretend for this is yeah, a lot. Line. I don't think you can. Okay. I don't think you can use that. That I think is an outbuilding as well. These are both, I think, outbuildings. This is actually the home that's being raised. Except if it's electricity and water. Well, it, well, if that's mm -hmm. the case, if it has electricity and water, we don't know that yet. We will verify that. We'll have to verify that. Can can you? But, but if it has electricity and water, yes, then it would not be an outbuilding. Correct. But we don't know that. That's what we got to find out. Yeah. So we got a couple of yeah, but, yeah, but the, the objective here, right? So the objective here is, um, see, I'm a little bit confused about this because the objective here is to say, the, the question here is, can we have this? That's the question. The question is, can we have a 25-foot setback? That's right. the question. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what we don't know is whether or not, we don't know a bunch of things. One of them is we don't know if they own to the center of the road, and if so, does it continue to open here, which means the setback begins back here somewhere. Right. You know, so that that's number one. Number two, the other thing is we don't know right now if we can use this. If we can use this and say, oh gee, they're going from a five foot to a twenty five foot. That's meant, that's reducing the caution. You know, we need to walk the property. Yeah, we, do. we excuse will. Me. Excuse me, can I make one comment? Sure. Um, I did originally. I did contact uh, the building inspector and explained to him my situation about the cottage and the structure, and he did agree that the cottage was a livable area and he's he was he was okay with me going so I he was okay with me with the original plan um, I did send him the new plan but I, I never had heard back from him um, on, the, on going closer than the, the cottage because the, the way I explained it to him was that did have a bathroom so I was I was feeling that it was a cottage it was a livable area so that's why when I originally submitted it, it was only it was it wasn't any closer than the cottage. But then after when I walked the site and saw the topography and, and like that, then I considered well this is also a structure, and that's why I moved it closer. But he never got back to me on the on the second plan. You don't happen to have a deed for this property, do you? Do you? Um, I I don't have them with me. Okay. I was just, I was curious. I mean, one one well. But what are you looking for the existing owner? I can pull yeah, that Yeah, yeah, because you know what I'm, cu I'm curious as to what the deed may say about this private way here. Yeah, I mean, you own this site, you own this, right? Right. And if you own this, you own halfway here and halfway here, so you own, this is continuous. So that changes your lot line, right? Well, we're just wondering if that right, it, it might benefit you. Right, it might benefit, but, that, but then I don't know what rights, because it, it still is a private out. It still is a road, and it's still on. You know, the town still recognized that it's a way. So, you know, would you have to discon discontinue that road? That's the question. That was another question that had come up. That the town doesn't own the road. No, but it's still a way, and it's it's still recognized at a 
as a uh, as a way. Does the town currently plow that? Can't plow it because it's undeveloped. Okay. Mm. The, the, if I look at the proposed hmm. single family house, all right. So that's. And I look at the. Right, there's going to be something that would prevent him left from corner doing that. So front. I don't think that's going to work. No, no. Of the proposed left corner, right there. And then if I drop back to the cottage to be raised to the frontmost corner, yeah. what's the difference in that footage? It's probably five feet. Let me ask this question. Okay. question. Suppose there's nothing on this lot at all, absolutely nothing. Okay, they come and say, listen, we want to build a house here. We have to put it here because of topography. Can we get a, can we get a, you know, a special permit or this because of that? You see what I'm saying? In other words, pretend there's no house. I don't care about this, this, or this. A lot of piece of land, I want to put a house on it. You have to do a variance. You have to do a variance. Yes, if you're going to do it that way, you have to do a variance. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if that is that a viable option. You know what I mean? Is that a? I don't know if it's necessary because yeah. it, it, here's a critical issue. Okay. If this is at all considered a livable residence, yeah. All right. What he's saying is the did, distance did between Bullock this and this is five feet. Yeah. Yeah. Did Bob deem that a livable residence? Know. This is already here. That is. Yeah. So, so this distance is grand. This is what he's using the cottage. Yeah. Exactly. Well, if he was to rebuild this thing as it is, rebuilding. he's fine. He, he, he'd do it tomorrow. Yeah, the cottage is He wants to expand it. What did Here is, is the livable. issue. The issue is, I don't know. this we is 25 yeah. versus I imagine yeah. this was 36 or yeah. something. Yeah, we, we, we know we, we can't use this. Well, I don't know that. Uh, see, see, because if we could, then it would be a... Because that's considered an outbuilding. Or, or is it? You, is it? Usually the lodges are. Oh, uh, uh, okay. okay. So this is the only real question, which All right, that so can be dealt with a special What program. do we want to do next? Do we want to take a, a, a yeah. Yeah. We'll take okay. a site visit. Because but I think existing we structure that's made, okay. yeah. All right. make the case at the moment less conforming. Do you gentlemen have any more okay. questions before I open it up to abutters? Okay. Oh, hey, Bob. Doesn't put a lot. He's got a copy of the creed. It's pretty mm -hmm. Do you have any more questions? I'm going to open it up to abutters. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions from abutters? Right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you identify your, excuse me, can you identify yourself, please? Edward Dello, two bed wing out, and I just put a, a leasing field there. And I, uh, by myself, I have bought a paper road, leading leg, where it's 15 foot wide, and I had to move my leasing field that I put in one foot away, because it's not the center of the, 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 the paper road that's by the law line, it's the edge. It's not the middle, it's the edge. So I don't own to the middle of the, the paper road. Okay. Right? You're assuming I'm quite a jab. You're going to assume that's half as yours. It's not. Well, I wasn't, I was, this plan, no, I was not assuming. Well, I, I thought I heard that. No, I did, I did state that, but I'm not assuming it because okay. I'm, I'm using the edge of the right of way as my property line. That's okay. what I am. Well, I, I thought I heard you no, say that. No, I did say <coughs> that. I did say that. Okay. No, I did say that, but. The other thing is, the, one of the, um, buildings you say and again electricity too is actually it's a electricity has come from 15 cottage Ave another house which it's an underground very service coming from a, a, a butter to get electricity to that that outhouse I mean it's a um, an out building so it doesn't have a service that's correct okay it's, it's coming off it's a feeder of another house okay I never don't have electricity, yeah. never have water, and in the middle of the road is not the middle of the road, it's the edge of the road. Okay. That's all. Thank okay. you. Is he in the butter? Um, yeah, uh, midway up, I'm down the end of the road. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, Sean Davenport, 18, Old Populatic Road. Uh, I'll be about it directly below the standing uh, structure that they want to have raised. Um, I have, speak up? Oops, sorry. I have speak lots up? of concerns as far as drainage. We've always had drainage problems on Populatic, old Populatic Road in that area. And if he changes the grade of the land or adjusts the grade of the land or removes too many trees, we're going to have a water slide coming down that, coming down that property. Also, I'm concerned about when he raises the pro. Uh, ra there we go. Sorry, when he raises the house, about the debris that's going to be coming down onto my onto my land. Um, it's like he said, seven feet is the distance. The seven feet and then eleven feet at the other corner of that house is what the distance is to my land. Um, 
I don't have a problem with a house being there. I just want it properly done and properly, you know, properly, properly done in there. But I do have concerns about drainage, just uh, also as far as the driveway coming sloping down towards the extreme grade that is there at Old Populatic. I have concerns about a water, just water running straight down that system. When we get a heavy rain, that rain comes straight down Old Populatic Road between the houses, but to right through my yard actually <laughs> at one point, but pretty much right through those all those houses and everything. So changing a uh, paved driveway or anything of that nature could cause just major issues coming down as far as flooding. Um, I know that the by digging there a little bit in that property myself that it is lots of sand and very very it'll it'll very much give away removing trees it will cause lots of issues and stuff as far as drainage and you know if he is going to build a prop uh, a building or a property there I would like some sort of a retaining wall if he is changing some sort of grade that would prevent this issue of <coughs> just washing the landslide washing down towards a Towards the properties. It already does that. So, those are, those are some of the concerns I do have as far as that, that the, the building of this. If I could just clarify, <clears throat> what I heard. Thank was you. Now, excuse me. Uh, uh, Sorry. You're Mr. Dam Dam Sean Davenport. Davenport. Okay, so you're right. I'm directly so below the the. Uh, the house that structure okay, you're, that that's we okay the we're actually where you are okay on the left hand side of that okay yep uh, and it's really more like two st it, it, when it says 1.5 the thing is massively high and, and then to the small. left of you is is mr <laughs> is it bremlist bremlist is to the left to the it's left to the right, uh, and to the right of you is miller right so those are the two okay yep. okay i just wanted to get a sense of where you are yep. okay and also our property line is is right up to the almost to that structure yeah it's almost yeah. a structure like i said it's seven feet we are seven feet away from his that that structure as it's the existing now. home yep and it has what it has is a weird like on the second story it has like 16 foot post going up holding up a overhang structure on that on that <coughs> uh on that thing it is extremely badly built and it is a bad <laughs> yeah, Want to address some of those uh, address some of those yeah, issues? We're excited to have it torn down because it is a very dangerous house as far as it is sitting on the property. But we, if it's going to be done, we, we want assurances of, as far as debris coming down the hill, as far as drainage, as far as erosion, um, and removal trees that we don't have a major issue of just coming right down on top of our, our property because it'll make it'll render my property useless. It'll just eat away at my property. And then we'll be basically in trouble because we we actually have a uh, shed structure directly below that that area as well. So you know, okay. and uh, we do have a cement retaining wall down there ourselves. We're the only ones on that road with a cement retaining wall, but we are concerned of major erosion coming down that hill, and also during construction vehicles and any sort of heavy equipment up there on that hill bringing down again any sort of issues in structure. Did I mention that there is a retaining wall up there? I know I've never someone. Seen one. <laughs> uh, there's a retaining wall in front of the house. So you walk down, but not, but not facing populatic. No, not facing no, I oh, didn't. Okay. Yeah, no, I never, that, I never, that's, said, that's I never, I never said that. Oh, I thought yeah. that's. We we had looked at the property when it was first up for sale and it toured the whole property and looked at it, looked at the whole structures and everything. We were. You're going to use the existing well or put a new well in? We're going to use the existing well. Use the existing well. Okay. Okay. It uh, says installing a new well. Can you address some of his concerns that sure. uh, he raised? Um, I mean, th that's one of the main reasons why we're trying to move the house forward so we can do less uh, grading on the lot. So that, that, that's why we move the house toward. I mean, we can look at doing, um, taking the roof run off and putting it into the ground so there'd be no, no, no direct discharge onto the grass area. The driveway, we could probably collect we could put a, uh, a catch basin to collect and direct all the water to a catch basin that would go into the ground and not run over overland off uh, off the property. So we can look at that. I haven't looked at that. Um, it sounds like Mr. Davenport's concern, though, is as I look here, is it would appear that uh, there's about a 18-foot drop 
eight to ten foot drop from the back of this structure to Mr. Davenport's property <coughs> relatively steep. It, yeah, it is steep. Sounds like steep. his concern is, if, and don't let me paraphrase your concern, please correct me, but it sounds like you're not concerned about the elimination of the structure, but you're very concerned with A, the process as it is eliminated, correct. and B, uh, what is left as to the results to cause significant erosion to your property because right. there is right. there is yes. a very it, it looks like nine feet between that structure and your property line yeah. seven feet to then a less feet. well just to let you know tom does work in construction and he does demolish houses for a living for millbrook homes uh modular home company in walpole so he d he has worked on projects like this before he did a job in west roxbury that was you know, the back of the house was right on Route 1. So he was able to demolish that house and there no debris ever fell into the highway over there. So he he, he does have experience, um, you know, demolishing homes and without causing, they will, I mean, we can submit something to the, to the board if they would like to see something in writing and how we plan on removing the house and what steps we would take to ensure that no debris would fall over onto, you know, Mr. Davenport's house or, or his, his shed. So, yeah, I'm also concerned about picking up debris on the property and having stuff on the property and no, such that as, as well. well. I mean, respect, right? It's a very steep, very steep hill. We, we all agree on that. Correct. No, I but, again, it's, it's more of the, as you're working on this and you're tearing this down, and now you're changing the grade in the slightest bit and you're taking away all these trees, there's no retention for any of that mud and the rain to come down and it comes down and when it comes down that place you you will see a flood happen we were we were flooded the first year we moved in it is a flood zone down below at our at, at, at popular are you we'll saying the taking of trees would be because we get the equipment in to demolish the house you have to take trees absolutely you're going to take the trees out to demolish house he want, he's going to want some trees out just to have a yard try to have some sort of thing and he's going to be changing the grade even if he says it's in the slightest bit the concern is what, how much of that slightest bit is it, and what are you going to do to stop? Not just throw dirt down. We want some sort of a st something to prevent that dirt that you're going to put down from coming down the hill, the next rainstorm and such. So we need some sort of retention to stop whatever your raising of the grade is going to be. Right, and that's what that's what I am. That's, that's, that's what I yeah. I, I never look. I did not look at that. So. I was saying that I could add some catch basins in the driveway so that runoff coming down the driveway wouldn't go straight. But we're, ta we're talking about a retaining wall. We want some sort of we're not talking. Yeah, and during construction, what are you going to do during construction to, to prevent that from happening while everything's well, we put being... put a cell fence and hay bales off on the road okay. and that, that okay. top of the building. Okay. Well, you got no choice in that matter as far as the house because it's only seven feet. You can't say I'm going to be 20 feet away from the property when the house is 16 feet wide, right. at, but and it's only seven feet from the property. You're already right. you're already on top of the house to try to demolish it. You're right. You're yeah, we're not within 20 feet. The ground, uh, no, I know. I'm just saying you're still within 20 feet of that. Right. You have to see the yes, sir. Uh, we're talking about after construction. The, the house, the, the whole thing, the hill is so steep that any rainfall that comes down that way, I mean, it's, it's an excellent way to happen. Any kind of disturbance of trees, that, that it's all sand. It is all sand. It's not a landslide. You can't be playing with that corner. The, 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 the town didn't asphalt my road for that reason. The road, so there's no erosion on that hill. The hill is very precarious spot. It sounds like we're going to be taking a walk of property walk. <laughs> all the trees are going to get this. Can't change. All the can't sand trees out right to his yard. And this is probably popular. No, 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 They want to see it taken down. They're just concerned how he does it. We're going to have to go there and see it. And we got to do something. Okay, uh, we're going to. Um, okay, do you have a question, sir? Yes, sir. All right, so uh, my name is Sean Noonan. I live in one Papalatic Street extension. 
basically um, all this property right here is mine. So um, I have a couple of issues. I don't have any paperwork with me, but my well is practically uh, right around here. And I'm not sure what the distance is from a well to a septic, but I do believe I have a drawing at home that shows a circle saying that that was the, you know, obviously there is a boundary between a well and the neighbor's septic, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just concerned about that. Yeah. Again, I have no issues with someone building a house here. One issue I have is that we were here two years ago trying to prevent somebody from taking an existing footprint, moving the existing footprint to build a house. Now, there is a lot of footprints around this area, so I'm a little concerned that we're going to open up a procedure here where someone can take a cottage and start putting up colonials up there because there is footprints of old little shacks, cottages, and I don't want that to happen up there. It's a nice private area. I, have, I too have an issue with the trees because all these trees come down now I'm open to, because a lot of wind comes up there. That's, that's what protects me from the wind that comes off that lake there. So that is issue number three, I guess. Um, during construction, obviously, this is Cottage Ave, is an easement through my property. So I'm concerned about construction equipment coming in there. The road's already torn up. We call the town every couple of weeks. Can you please help us fix the road? We're trying to out there with shovels and wheelbarrows trying to fix it ourselves because the town doesn't want to do anything. It plows the road, but it won't repair the road. So I'm a little concerned about that. So uh, I guess they're my concerns right now. I probably have a lot more if I sat down and thought about them, but it's been a long day, so. And that's the same thing on Populatic. Could we get a lot of potholes and everything that we have to repair ourselves from water? But they're not going to be driving the construction. No, no, I'm saying from water. <coughs> right. okay. Have you looked into so the regs I, I, on I the distance from the well? Map of my the distance property. from where you have your septic. Ten popular yeah, extension. I will verify that. It's, it's yeah. supposed to be a hundred feet away from right. any well, right. so I, I'll verify right. as Plus, well. With okay. Can you just so. check that out first? Yeah. Plus, the board of health wouldn't approve that. Right. This hasn't gone in front of board of health yet. Right. We, yeah. All we did so far is just the soil testing. Right. Okay. Yeah, but we can identify that on the next drawing where the well is of the neighbor right. in the distance. Correct. Yep. I think it's I will, Mr. Bus Bus it Busquet. Is it Busquet? What? The last name is Busquet? No, it's not. It's uh, Sean Noonan. Okay, so <coughs> Busquet is a different person. I don't know where that Busquet came from on the drawing. Yeah. It's Noonan? Noonan, yeah. You might, Thank be, you. You might be shared ownership or something. Uh, <laughs> what, I'm sorry, what's, si what's the size of the structure anyways? I was trying to figure out. Is this a single story or a two story building? It's a, it's a regular two story. A two story building up on the building? It's a single story, but it has a walkout basement. Oh, okay. It's a single story. Correct. It's 52 by 28. Yeah. And the garage looks like it's under? It is a garage under, yes. I'd like to have a site visit if we could schedule that. Okay. I'd like to have a coordinator with Peter so that he schedules yes. up with us. Yes, do a site visit. Can you do it this weekend? Because I'm, I'm leaving for vacation for for nine days on, after the 4th. I know it's it's short notice, but if we can meet Saturday or Sunday, I would meet. Well, unless, unless Tom and his father, Karen, can meet you out there. But I'd like to be out there with when you guys are walking in. I'm available anytime. Can I ask? Uh, I'm leaving for California, but you when? guys can go without me. When's our next hearing? The 18th? Yes. When are you leaving me? Um, if you guys Sunday are morning. all meeting to discuss. Well, we could do it when you have, you're gone for nine days. Oh, yes, I'll be back. I, I'll be back. On, I'll be back either. We could do it the 16th. Be back on the 16th. Yeah. Or the 15th. I, 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 yeah, that's Sunday. Sunday is the 15th. Tomorrow I'm working. Five o'clock. <laughs> Could meet any time next week oh, up until the fourth the after five after yeah. five o'clock. Right. If you want to do it t next week, you can go without me. I'm fine. After, you know, when everyone seriously, I'm yeah. fine. Really. And that would give me time if you want me to stake anything like the house box. I could stake right. the house box in the septic. Next Wednesday. You round next Wednesday. Yeah. Right. Next He's Wednesday. Not, not here. He won't be here next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. He'll yeah. be gone. I, I could I could meet you there if we would did it early, like four thirty. Oh, okay. Because I'm driving to New Jersey. Next Wednesday? Yeah. Before 4.30, though. Um, yeah. I can do it. I think I am, yeah. <coughs> Thank you. 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 Thank
So we're, uh, next Wednesday at 4.30 p.m.? Well, it has to be before that. No, that's fine. Okay. Right. <laughs> You're on TV. You don't want to. Yeah, but I. She, she's. We don't. I don't live. I don't live in the. We want to cause the marital discourse here. Could, 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 could we make it uh, four o'clock? Make four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock is fine. That's fine. Even though I'll have trouble getting there. I'll have trouble before six. Hey, I know that. <laughs> but it, is there at least three people who know for sure they can make it? Yeah, there's three. At least three have to make it. You know, of concern as you heard the abutters. We, we want to. We want to hear your thoughts on how you're going to mitigate when you tear down that 1.5 story building. How you're going to uh, mitigate the uh, soil conditions? You're going to have to take some trees down, uh, landslide issues. That's, you know, we're going to be looking on how you're going to handle that okay. issue. What's the, what's the final, you know, to make sure the neighbors are enforcement for that adversely affected? <coughs> Can I ask a question? I want to ask a question about the road. In terms of your access to this property, it's coming into what's this cottage way? Yep. Right. So where, where's the closest paved road or closest town approved road before you touch that? We have a problem with it. We got to check. From here? Like, where, like when you come to that, to that way that's private, where's the, where's the uh, town accepted road that you come off of? Yeah, whatever. I don't know. This I don't know. This is right here? No, that's not. Oh, right, right there is Cottage Ave. At the end of Cottage Ave is Popolatic Street Extension. Oh, right. And that's a town road, right? Popolatic Street Extension? Yeah, so basically. Right, right, right. So the condition of the road right yeah, now, I've talked about when you enter this what is he private saying? area, this is the what, what is the, <coughs> the condition of the road and he's moving over here. appropriate for the trucks you need to bring in here? In terms of, I know it's a, just a dirt road, probably, right? Or gravel road? It's, it's paved. Oh, it is paved. It's okay. paved. Okay. So it was paved privately a long time ago, I guess. Right? Uh, yeah, and he does have an easement that, right. to the best of my knowledge, he has an easement to come, to come down here. So when they're repairing the road, he is, he's saying. how are you repairing the road? He's saying he has paved road. Yeah. That's been very generous calling it paved road. It's not really paved road. It's actually This is not a Yeah. <coughs> Okay. Right at the right of where Cottage Ave starts, it's a dirt road that goes on Popolatic Street extension, then turns to Franklin Ave, then turns to mm. what is it? What's the next one? Medway Ave? No, whatever it is. Right, right. So that's all so dirt now he's asking about right. house. But he's got to get on the dirt. Like it's yeah. plus he's going through my property, to bring all these construction yeah. equipment in. I know it's, it's a an easement for a wide road. Yeah. <laughs> he, he does have an easement to go through your property to gain right. access. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right, right, right. right. <coughs> when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I know we got a couple. Of, I was asking questions about the road. You know, in terms of it's the ability for the, the trucks to come into here. You know, and is the road you know sound enough for that? And that you know, is there anything they need to do to make sure the road? Is the road motion to make a site visit, Mike. Say that again. No, we're just scheduled. Yes, it is. Okay. No. Um, okay, Chris, can you? Uh, Planning on doing anything up there? The pavement is going to stay. You, what would you like staked for the sidewalk? Would you like anything staked? The house? The um, yeah, if you want to stake out <coughs> house where it's going, obviously that would be helpful. That would be helpful, yeah. yeah. Because everything else is still there, right? Correct. Yeah. Pro's house, the proposed lot line, the lot lines? The, the lot lines are staked. Okay. And could, in terms of. <coughs> I don't know if this is possible or not. You tell me if I'm out of line. But in in front of the one and a half square wood frame concrete foundation to be raised, the exact way of spreading. Could you put like ribbons on trees that you think might have to be removed? Because I hear that to be a concern as it relates. So I, again, I'm talking in the uh, upper left hand corner of the of the area where you're going to. Yeah. Could you along that property line of Bremlist and Davenport? Put some, just throw some string or ribbons or something around the, the trees that you expect that you have to remove in order to get equipment in there to raise the house. Because obviously you have to bring equipment in uh, to raise the house. I actually tied strings to his actual proposed things and just ran a string right across to, to, to see what. He's talking were. about the trees. No, no, I'm saying, the actual uh, trees. No, I'm just saying I ran a string from his, his from his surveyed line, which I'm not even disputing the line. It is correct. Um, and. It sh th that will show you where, you know, it's a red string line should show you where. 
Right. But we're actually talking about the trees, though. Uh, I will, I will, yeah. I will put, I put uh, ribbon on. on that, that, that would be terrific. Because what I heard was concerns about drainage and trees obviously absorb a lot of moisture and water coming down. Is this your so that's yours. That's for next. Gonna, you already have. There's a difference yeah. between I I I picked one cutting one. five trees and, and fifty-five <laughs> trees. I have no idea. <laughs> Cut the trees where the proposed house goes. You pick up, we can oh, probably go in that. Everybody has one. She made extra. I don't think I heard any concern about that. What I heard about is the trees. Uh, abutting Mr. Davenport's Bremless uh, line and the structure to be raised. Well, That's what I. You take the trees out where the house is going to go, the new house. You should be able to drive down there and take all the structures out without taking out trees on the lot line and driving down there. There's no need. Of if that's the case, that would certainly seem to mitigate. Um, uh, that would seem to mitigate Mr. Davenport's concerns, if that's the case. Well, my, my main concerns are just the drainage issues. Do these folks share the same concerns? Yeah. <coughs> okay, uh, let's wrap this up. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to continue the public hearing till May 18th. Amy, we have already a pretty full load on May 18th, don't we? We do. So yes. we're, I think we're tied up till 9 o'clock, aren't we? Or 8.45 um, on that day? The last one starts at 8.30. And that's Michael Brogan? Um, yes. So we could probably do this at 8.45? Yes. Make a motion to continue the public hearing with regard to Thomas Orlando for a F4B Norfolk Zoning Bylaw for demolition and reconstruction of the existing non-conforming lot that does not violate the requirements to a great extent of the original structure till 8.45 p.m. on May 18th. Mayor, a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> okay. Motion to close. <coughs> Second. Yep. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Do we have to uh, do a public notice for the Wednesday? Hmm? Public notice for Wednesday? Amy's got to do a public notice. Yeah. Okay. You got to do public notice. Yeah, we'll have to tell. We'll remind her. Was any of this relevant? We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're still we still got to talk to the public hearing for Pine Street, even though we're. Right, we still have to, we have to mention that. that we, uh, we have Pine Street to deal with. And we don't have to do that because it actually is a two year. And it's only, we approved last year, we gave them an extension. So we can actually discuss that for a minute. Thank you. I don't think she's got us off the air yet. Oh, okay. Uh, well, for Wednesday, do you have to just post uh, an administrative note uh, 27 Pine Street extension? Uh, we had that scheduled tonight to discuss. We realized that his permit is for a two-year period of time, not for one year. Therefore, we notified the applicant that he did not need to come in tonight. So that's an administrative note uh, to tonight's meeting. So there's and no formality. We don't have to open and close a hearing correct. or anything no. like that? All right. Okay. And Amy, you're going to do a public notice for the site walkthrough at Cottage? Yes. Okay. okay. Is there enough time for that? Um, yeah. So you're yeah. going to do it on Wednesday. Yeah. Right. So right. at 4 p.m. Enough time. We don't need a public notice for that. Um, is there going to be a quorum, and are you going to deliberate? No. No. No, we don't need a public notice. If you don't have a quorum, and you're not going to deliberate. We're going to have a quorum because there's going to be three of you us. You don't deliberate. Least. I think you don't. Deliberate. We don't have to deliberate. We don't even no. talk to each other. We'll just have a site view. Maybe we report back at. Right. Don, you're the only one who talks to these meetings. At the May 18th meeting, we don't have to do a. Uh, yeah.